That's the sad, there's nothing, you know, God, man, I, I, I gotta die soon because there's nothing is good. You don't wanna live that long. I said, you don't wanna live that long. Things, it's like your body's program. It's, it's like a GM motor car. It's programmed to, you know, start falling apart at a certain age. You're, no, they, you think they don't program, they program it, people. You, you buy a car right when you make the last fucking payment and it falls apart. <laughs> it's programmed. Yeah, like, shit, I, I, you know, I'm making a good buck thank, thanks to people like yourselves that, you know, that don't know good comedy. But, uh, <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I bought an infinity, you know? And then I, I say, Whoa, what kind of, you know, what kind of feeling is an infinity? It lasts forever, you know? It don't, it don't last forever. The payments last forever. <laughs> I don't even have a car no more, I'm still making payments. I told the cabrones, how come I don't got the car making payments? It's an infinity. That made sense to me, oh, okay. <laughs>
You gotta jump for hallway lights? Ah, like. (laughs) And if there's no double light switch, that light's staying on. I'm sorry. Horror movie night, gotta sleep like this, hands right next to your body, tucked in like a burrito. Every other night, who gives a shit? Hands stretched out. Who cares? Horror movie night, nope, like this. And then right before you get go to bed, you always hear like, oh. grab your cell phone and try to light the room with the worst possible light ever. You know what my biggest fear is? Is that one day I'm gonna be like, nothing, nothing, eyes. Oh my God. Oh God, it knows I saw it. And it knows I have no signal. Ah! This- Two years I've been married. I also don't trust, uh, I don't trust her. Uh, <laughs> I'll explain. Who's married here? Married, round of applause. Married. How long? 30 years, let me ask you for 30 years, two years, I don't trust her. Um, at what point does she, uh, at what point does she fart in front of you? <laughs> after the second good for you, good for you. Hold on to her. Two years, I haven't heard her smell the thing. It makes me nervous. I feel like she's building up like Krakatoa. <laughs> and one day just gonna explode all over the walls. I don't trust it. Ladies, I don't know why you do this, just let it out. We will love you so much more. Let it out. Ready? Trust me on this. Next time your man leaves the room, if you haven't done it yet, he leaves the room, he comes back and just go, baby, baby, make a gun and shoot him real quick. Just whang. He's not even gonna be mad, he's gonna laugh his ass off and then probably shoot you right back. We're like, all right, whang, whang. there you go, soulmates. Point. <laughs> I, I, I fart in front of her. I think every guy does, but I, I still do the silent ones because I respect her, right? Because guys know with the silent ones, you have a 50 50 shot, it's not gonna smell. I'm not saying it's foolproof, but those are good odds. I got caught the other day. Uh, we were driving, I let a silent one out. I was like, oh, it's not gonna be bad. I smelled it, I was like, oh, divorce. This is how I got caught. We were, we were driving, we were in the middle of the woods. I had nothing to blame it on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, fellas, you ever been driving, you let one out, she's like, what's that smell? You go, oh, oh, that factory right there. That's, <laughs> they probably produce poop in that factory right there. <laughs> we were in the woods, I had nothing. I panicked, this is how I thought I was gonna fix it. I tried to smell it all before she smelled it. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> She was like, what are you doing? I was like, my allergies. She was like, yeah, allergies smell like diarrhea. Get that checked out, that's. I'm a single mom and I'm rageful, right? You know, I'm bad, I'm mad. I have a 17 year old daughter and I don't like that bitch. Can I say that? I love her, but I don't like her. I mean, I can't say that at home. It's considered child abuse, right? I don't like her. She drives me crazy. She's so hormonal. She runs track and never wins races. Can I say that here? Are you guys too sensitive? You know, she comes home with participation ribbons. I'm like, really? You came home with the white ribbon? They gave you this for showing up, bitch. I want the blue ribbon. Right, the kids with the stitches in their heads got this. Right, she came to me and she said, my friend Molly said her parents said it doesn't matter if you win or lose, all that matters is if you try your best. I said, did you say parents with an S on the end? Are you showing off, bitch? Damn Molly and her parents with the S on the end. You better run like the wind. Or I'll drop drop you off at the track and make you run home to get a little perspective. She came home the other day and told me she had a bully. And I'm like, this is not racial, this is generational. I'm like, bully? Bully? You don't have a bully. What you have is that's called rites of passage. Right? You don't always have a bully. One day those bullies will be called taxes. That's life. Right? What you have is, she's 17 years old. I said, what you have is a year to do something about it before it's a felony. (laughs) That's what you have. Guys, I'm half Asian and half Latino. And uh, yeah, thank you. Um, And it's like really weird being mixed or biracial or cute. You know, like whatever PC term you guys want to use. Cause like strangers will come up to me and try to guess the races. They'll be like, hey man, are you half white and half 
whatever that little kid from Up was. <laughs> and then I just float away. <laughs> Uh, but uh, being half Asian and half Latino, uh, I kind of want to knock up a girl who is half white and half black just to see what our kid will look like. Which isn't the best reason to have a kid. But it's not the worst. Yeah. There's way worse reasons to have kids. And I really want to be able to make like this hypothetical quadracial baby. Uh, so that one day when it grows up, it's like, hey, dad, was I a mistake? And I can be like, no, you weren't a mistake. But you were a joke. <laughs> and, and a really good one of that. People loved it. <laughs> Went to a restaurant, to the restroom, the sign read for employees only. So a print application, took a shit and quit. <laughs> I was gonna pee, but I don't wanna put in overtime. <laughs> it's my first day, relax. <laughs> the first day of work is like the first day of school, huh? Everybody starts off with an A. <laughs> three months later, three months later, you're fucking up. <laughs> Missing school. <laughs> Showing up late. Trying to make shit up. <laughs> Except in school, you get suspended. You get to come back. In real life, you get fired. Fuck you. <laughs> White people get pissed off. They come back and kill everybody. Mexicans, we know we're going to get fired. We start stealing shit before we leave. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get fired, but I'm going to get it for 800 bucks. <laughs> You guys like binge watch? Do you binge watch, sir? You ever binge watch like for eight, nine hours though? Hey, you, you realize you, you just fucked up your whole day doing that, right? Do you ever do that? Like, binge watching will fuck your life up, man. I gained 50 pounds ever since Netflix came out, man. I got that fire stick now with the Cody app. I don't get no sleep, man. For real, because you, you fuck up and binge watch. Like, because you, you're like, you know what? Let me watch one episode. Everybody's talking about this shit. Then eight hours later, you're like, God damn, I haven't slept and shit, because you can't sleep. I'm serious, I started watching, I watched two seasons of fucking Narcos in one night. For real, because I was like, you know what, let me see what's up with Narcos. I turned it on on a Tuesday. It's seven in the morning on Wednesday. I forgot I had to take the kids to school. I forgot I had to go to work. For real, my wife's like, hey, motherfucker, you gotta go to work. I'm like, one more episode, I can do this, I can do this. Like, I don't even do cocaine, where'd that shit come from? I think Netflix sent me that cocaine so I can stay up all night watching this shit. <laughs> like, you ever dream about it? You, you watch a show and then you fall asleep and you dream about the fucking show? That, that for real, it, it fucks your mind up, man. Like, where the Game of Thrones fans at? Where you fucking nerds at? I ain't gonna lie, I gave in, finally. I watched all seven seasons in two fucking weeks, man. I, Cause I was on the road, right? And every, every night I would just go back to the hotel and watch three, four episodes. And I was like going to sleep dreaming about that shit, man, for real. Like I fell in, I'm not gonna, I fell in love with the, with the dragon lady, with Daenerys. I fell in love with her, man, she's bad, yo. Like after two seasons, I was dreaming about her and shit. But I had to snap out of it because I was dreaming about her. I had a little half Mexican dragon babies running around the house and shit. I'm like, yo, man, stop dreaming. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Like, that's why I don't like Walking Dead. Fuck Walking Dead, I hate that show. I watched one season, I was done. Cause I ain't trying to dream about zombies, man. Fuck that, man. I live in West Inglewood. You guys ever heard of that area? Yeah. All right, that's a bad area. There's a lot of winos and crackheads in my neighborhood. Don't watch Walking Dead till four in the morning and then walk your fucking dog. Don't do that shit. <laughs> Fucked me up, man. For real. Cause I'm thinking about zombies all night, right? I just watched eight hours of zombies. It's four in the morning, my dog's looking at me like, yo, I gotta take a shit. You've been watching zombies for eight hours. So I took my dog out, I'm not gonna lie, I took my little pistol with me because it's a bad neighborhood and shit, right? I don't want to die walking my dog. So I'm thinking about zombies walking a dog and one of my neighbors comes out of the gang, we're like, hey Joey, bro, you got a cigarette, bro? And I freak the fuck out, I'm like, back up, zombie, back up. <laughs> and then like the light hit his face, I'm like, oh shit, that's Ernie. I almost shot Ernie, man. Like, I've known Ernie for 25 years, man. I almost shot Ernie. Because of fucking walking dead, man. 